Can you dig it? Can you dig it? Can you dig it? Can you dig it? What is up, guys? Digger Jim here with another episode, episode two of Can You Dig It comic review. Now, today we're going to be reviewing a horror book. Um, I try to make it a habit of every year coming up with something different to focus on um, in my comic book journey. Uh, a couple years ago, I said, you know what, I've never really read an independent. I'm going to pick out some independents as the year goes on and purchase them and read them and see how I like them. Which, by the way, a lot of them were thumbs up. Some of them were not so much, but... You know, for the most part, they were pretty good. So this year I said, you know what, I'm going to uh, try to do that with some horror books. And when I was at Heroes Con, Heroes Con, I, um, in June, I came across this gentleman, Rodney Barnes, the author of this book. This book, I'll probably have a, this book, Philadelphia, which I will have right there. Better pick a picture, maybe, maybe like that. Philadelphia. Um, it is a horror book based on vampires, if you haven't gotten the point of it. I chose this book not just because he was there. I had heard other people like uh, DJ Lynx, I think Flash by Night, several people had said it was a good book to read. And I've always thought of vamp. I connected more with vampires as in the monster verse than any other monster, like, you know, Frankenstein, werewolf, you know. Black, Creature from the Black Lagoon, all of those guys, I connected more with the vampire. I've always enjoyed vampire stories. If I was going to dip my toe into horror books, this is where I was going to begin with. And I wanted to uh, just shout out that I can dig this book. I thoroughly enjoyed it. It was um, a good read from start to finish. I think Rodney did a excellent job of putting just enough of a twist on a vampire story because for the most part, a lot of these vampire stories can be a little bit dry after a while. You know, there's only so much you can do with it. Yes, he wants to kill you. He wants to suck your blood. He wants to dominate the world, something like that. Um, he put a little bit of a twist on it. I'm not going to give away the whole story because I want you to go out and get it and make your own um, uh, choices on whether or not it, it's a good book or not. I want to point out that Rodney Barnes is the author of it. The artist in it is Jason Sean Alexander. The colorist is Louis Nick. I can't say his last name. Uh, the letterer is Marshall Dillon. We're going to point out the letter because our boy Justin is a letterer, and that's what you should do. So this was volume one, and it came out in July of 2020. And uh, from what I understand, there are five other volumes. So I, when I met Rodney, I said, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to read it. I'm going to review it. And uh, if I like it, Maybe I'll see him in Baltimore and I'll buy some more different volumes. So, Rodney, if you're coming to Baltimore, bring volume two, three, four, and five so I can pick those up. Because there's, if they're just as good as this, then I'm down for it. Now, I will say, I'm uh, the artist, the art in this is not usually my style. I have a different uh, style when it comes to art. But that was what drew me to the book, was to, to read something different and to look at something different. And the art fit it. The blacks, the reds, the whites. I mean, where he combined the different colors and where you saw the blood was, was what captivated me through the story. The story was really good, but the art carried it just as well. So, again, I don't want to put too much on it, but I'm going to tell you it, it starts out in Philadelphia. Go figure, because it's Philadelphia. Um, a son has come to uh, his uh, so, uh, police officer, who is the son of a, another police officer that was in Philadelphia. He's come up from Baltimore to, uh, I guess, uh, settle his family affairs because his father had passed away. And um, basically, in a nutshell, his father kind of found a nest and ended up being killed and became a vampire. But they didn't know all that back then, and they buried him in the ground. His son pretty much went and realized what he thinks might have happened and dug him up. Now, from that point on, I'm not going to give too much more of the story away, but they start to fight the vampires. So if you want to see what happened with it, you'll have to go and buy it. But for me, 
I enjoyed the story immensely. I enjoyed the ending. It left me wanting more. I'm going to get more in volumes two, three, and four, I'm sure, and five. Um, so yeah, if you want to leave a comment, if you read it, leave a comment below about what you thought of it. If you thought it was good or bad, just let me know. I'm giving it a thumbs up. I can dig it, and I hope you can too. Thanks for watching. Hit that like, subscribe button, tell your friends about it, and as always, keep digging.